Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to Seeking the Bay. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, so in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about how strong the Dubai real estate market really is. Like if you're looking at this chart over here, you know, in the last two months, so this, this chart you can find and a lot more really amazing information. You can find this on DXB Interact. So in this chart here, we can see all the uh, transactions that are taking place year to date till February. So this is this chart is looking at every single February from 2008 up to 2023. And you can see that the the kind of transaction we've seen in 2023 is off the charts. And so even though we've been in a strong market for the last three years, this is the strongest that we've ever been. And we can actually kind of break down uh, th those numbers a bit more, uh, you know, just to put some more context on it. So the total in February, which is, of course, shorter months, we've had 9,000 transactions versus uh, 9,800 uh, in January, right? So we're keeping pace. Uh, if anything, we're accelerating. And then, uh, you know, the breakdown of that is 6,300 apartments and 2,100 villas and townhouses, and the rest would kind of be plots or offices and things like that. So the apartment market in terms of transactions has actually grown like 56% year on year. And the growth in villa and townhouse transactions is, is just 16%. And this kind of goes back to what we've been talking a lot about in this channel, is that there's less villas and townhouses fundamentally. And one of the best ideas investing in Dubai in the last couple few years has just been towards these villas and townhouses. And that's something that we heavily promote and talk about on our channel. Uh, and here we could see like the price changes. So, uh, you know, on average, like we're looking at 2.5 million for a villa townhouse. That's just an average, just to give you some kind of indication. And, and so in terms of price growth, you know, you're up 25% year on year, whereas apartments on average are up 6.5% year on year. But anyway, I wouldn't give so much credence to these kind of statistics because it's just much larger data sets, their averages, uh, you know, but if you're going to go in and, and study this market, you're going to want to zero in on a few kind of areas and then, you know, do deeper dives on those. And that's what we try to do on this channel as well. And now if you're looking at the chart over here, uh, this is showing you off plan versus ready property sales. You can see here off plan is actually 59% of the market now. And so this 59% is not just developer sales, that is a big part of it, but a lot of transactions are taking place on the off-plan secondary market. So these are projects that were launched back between anywhere between 2018 up to 2021. They had really good payment plans because market conditions were slightly different as well. And those projects are now in advanced stages in construction, they're nearing completion, and people want to purchase properties that are ready uh, now or re ready very soon. And so that is a large part of, of the market right now. And of course, with the ready market, uh, you have less options. It is uh, most of the houses are occupied by their owners, or the the rental yields are at all time high, so you don't have a lot of sellers. So that is why buyers keep turning to the offline market. The other trend that we see, and I think that will help explain, which might explain, you know, this huge increase, uh, is that sellers aren't exiting the market. So if they're selling, they're either upgrading or they're moving their money into something else. Uh, so you know that that so so no one's actually exiting the market. So the the buyer pool keeps growing keep it quite simple. In 2016, Dubai had two and a half million people. Uh, and, uh, in, and, and in 2016, the, they were projected to reach three and a half million people by 2035 at a 1.4% uh, growth rate. We reached this population this year. So like 12 years ahead of that kind of projection. Uh, so Dubai's population now stands at three and a half million people. Uh, and interestingly, the Emirates population jumps by over one million during the day when workers and people residing in other Emirates visit Dubai for business and tourism. The, the, the real population of Dubai on a given day is like four and a half million people. It's not three and a half million. And, and I think, you know, to kind of understand how the markets keeps transforming, you know, this is a map which is showing you the, the Dubai freehold market in 2013. So just 10 years ago or nine, nine and a half years ago. And, uh, so and 2013 is a time when the market had just started picking up after the, the 2008 crisis. Uh, and so, you know, this is, this is what the map looked like. So if you were a buyer at, at that time in 2013, uh, these are the projects you would go and be purchasing in. Sorry about that. There's some work going on up there. Um, and uh, so the, if you were a buyer in 2013, this is what you would be looking to purchase. So everything in green was an area that was quite mature. Everything in red is under construction. Uh, so, you know, th th so this was this was what the market looked like. And this is what it looks like right now in 2023. So you can see how how the market has expanded. Uh, and a lot of projects which didn't even exist in, in 2013 have been launched, built and, and are now in mature stages as well. So the market has grown really fast. It's grown towards the suburbs. We've seen a lot of activity on the waterfront that's been completely revitalized. And then, you know, you've got uh, suburban villa and tiles developments. You've got some of the most incredible real estate that's been built anywhere in the world. So I've seen a lot of posts recently of different real estate 
uh, brokerage firms, uh, owners of brokerage firms, like just giving market updates and also trying to talk about, you know, how hot is the market too hot or are we headed towards like a kind of a bubble or anything? We don't know any of that and no one really does how markets move and react. But one thing I can most definitely tell you is that once trends start, they don't reverse very quickly. And there's a lot of trends that have started taking place, global shifts, deleveraging, but because of a different set of circumstances, infrastructure, a, a flow, of, a flow of capital and wealth and people, and, and a confluence of events, uh, you know, the, the Dubai, the UAE, and the region itself is in an incredible position right now. And even though Dubai does offer you options, you know, you can purchase a $100,000 studio in international city, or you could look at, you know, the tens of millions of dollars in various parts of luxury uh, real estate in Dubai. So you've got all the options out there. And so every kind of class is catered to, and because it's able to do that, it's this is one of the most uh, largest and most liquid real estate markets anywhere in the world. But if you are an investor and you are feeling that the market's overheated, and it might just be overheated in certain parts of the market, right? And so if you are looking for value, you're going to find it. Uh, it's just a matter of like trying to understand it and explain it. And that's what we try to do on our channel. But the other thing that you can also start doing is looking beyond the buy. And, 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 and that's where, you know, I think... Uh, there are some really uh, incredible emerging opportunities, and I think investors should start looking at that. So what I'm going to do in the rest of this video is just talk about like two or three of those kind of projects that are taking place. So before we talk about those kind of projects, let's look at you know this map over here. This is the this is the Etihad Rail that has just started, and so the first phase of the project, which is this whole gray line here, is already completed and it's functioning now. And the rest of the tracks are being built. We are already seeing the tracks been laid in Dubai. So what's going to happen eventually is that the whole country and all the major ports and industrial centers are all going to be connected by this world-class infrastructure. And not only is it going to transport goods, it's also going to transport people. And eventually this line is going to lead you to Oman. And then these lines are going to lead you to Saudi Arabia and Qatar. And so the whole region is just getting more interconnected. And we're seeing, uh, you know, and we're seeing the kind of world-class infrastructure that only really exists in a few parts of the world. And each of these Emirates have their own story that's emerging. Uh, so if you're looking at a, a place like Ras al-Khaimah, for the last 12, 15 years, they, they have a small real estate market that's grown, right? They started back in 2007, 2008. It is a place where people are visiting all the time, right? For staycations and even international tourists come to Dubai and end up in Ras al-Khaimah for a couple of days. There's adventure tourism. The beaches are really nice. There's great resorts there. And now last year, Ras al-Khaimah announced that they're going to allow gaming. And so one of the largest casinos in the world is going to be breaking ground in, in just the next few months. Uh, and currently, gaming legislation is being built uh, into into the system. And you can imagine the kind of impact that's just going to have on that local economy, but just the larger Emirates as well. And so in Ras al Khaimah, there's real estate that's available to be purchased right now. And you can look at some options in the ready market, older projects that were launched previously. But here, uh, you know, one of the best ideas is to look at the Marjan Island. And Marjan Island is this exquisite island built off the coast. Uh, it, it's it's like visiting Palm Jumeirah back in the early days. And if you visit here today, you're going to see that they've done an incredible job developing this. And already there's a number of hotel, uh, there's a number of resorts that have opened up here. And on this parcel here, which I've marked out in red, is where they're building these kind of villas and townhouses, uh, which, uh, which they've started selling. It's called Dana Bay. And we've made a couple of videos talking about this previously. So just to give you some perspective, this is Dana Bay. And then here is the Wynn Resorts. And earlier this week, the Ras al Khaimah Authority have trademarked uh, the name of this strip. And either they're going to be calling it the Marjan Strip or the Arabian Strip. Uh, and that's where you're going to start seeing uh, the development of casinos, I, I assume, because they're calling it a strip. And uh, so I'm not exactly sure the wind is coming, but it's going to be here on this island. You can imagine the kind of impact, uh, uh, you know, once the wind starts breaking ground, uh, it will have on the local real estate market there. So there's freehold to be purchased there. There's an established market. Uh, and uh, so Dana Bay is one of the projects. There's another project as well that, that's been launched. So if you would kind of like to stay in touch with that market or you might be interested in purchasing something, Russell Klemma, you know, we, uh, by the way, Realco Capital, we invest in real estate in, in Dubai as well. And so we purchased in Dana Bay. This is a project we really, really like. Uh, so if you want to learn more about it, just get in touch with us or check out some of the other content that we have uh, on our channel. Uh, so if you were to be a buyer right now for, for, for a property here, they have two bedroom townhouses, which are on the periphery. Then they have these three bedroom villas, which are pretty amazing. But the beachfront properties have all been sold out now. And one of the best things about purchasing right now is that you're getting a post-town over payment plan. 
So the numbers just work out really well. Starting prices, you're looking at around 2.8 million dirhams, which is about 800,000 US dollars. And then you're getting that multi-year payment plan. So the numbers work out pretty incredibly. So that is one thing to see. Now, one of the other projects that uh, people are looking at beyond Dubai is Masar, which is a beautiful master development by Arada. So Arada is a developer which is building a few really interesting projects in Dubai. They're building the Jewry Hills, which is in Jumeirah Golf Estates. It's an amazing development. But here, this, this is one of the largest freehold uh, master developments in Sharjah. So Sharjah now has freehold properties. So I, I think most people are aware of that, but the number of freehold options there are limited. And if you've been to Sharjah, you know the challenges the city has in terms of its the older parts of it. So now what's happening is a freehold is being built in the suburbs of the city. And in the suburbs of the city, you've got projects like uh, Talal city, where you can buy plots of land, you can buy in Masar. Masar is, in my opinion, probably the safest and most logical kind of purchase. And if you're looking at these kind of townhouses and you're comparing that kind of value that you're getting here with what you're getting in Dubai, these are far superior in terms of quality. They've got show houses as well that you can look at. Sold out three clusters, they're selling one by one. There's a large market uh, that you're looking at. So this is an amazing project to look at. And over here, you can see prices start from around 2.2 million for really, really high quality townhouses. And the third project I'll talk about is Ramhan Islands. That's misspelled there by us. Uh, so Ramhan Islands uh, is this unbelievable uh, project, which is very close to Yas Island. So I'll show you the location in just a second. So just look at what they're building here. This is being developed by uh, Muhammad al -Abbar. He has another company besides Amar, uh, which is called Eagle Hills. And they're the ones who are mass developing this one. And so right now, what they've done is they're launching like four clusters uh, of four of these islands. And each of these islands has four, five, six bedroom uh, villas and, and, and even larger property types. And, you know, so it's kind of like Jumeirah Islands, but uh, this is actually the sea. And so if you look at the location, first of all, you know, with Dubai and Abu Dhabi, uh, so you're looking at about 45 minutes to an hour. And if you're looking at the major islands over there, most people will be familiar with Yas Island. Uh, and Sidiat Island, uh, which is a cultural hub, Yas Island is an entertainment hub, and Raman Islands is kind of sitting in between there. So it's this beautiful parcel of land, and the water in Abu Dhabi is the most beautiful. So you can kind of imagine that this would be something pretty amazing. And prices are not incredibly high, and that's the advantage of buying the first phase of any development. So they started off with launching four bedrooms for, with prices starting for around six and a half million. They opened up the project for expressions of interest uh, two weeks ago, and they've in and from what we've heard, they've they've got 1,500 expressions of interest, but they're only going to be selling around 300 villas. Uh, and Abu Dhabi's economy is growing uh, faster than any other city in the region, so that's that's another thing. So this is another project that was really amazing to look at, all right? And so the idea again of this video is to kind of was to kind of explain what's going on in the market here in Dubai to let you know that, you know, there are parts of the market in Dubai that might be overheated. And, you know, if you are a value buyer, there are still great options in Dubai. Uh, and we try to help you exp explain that to you. But also, if you want to take advantage of this growing region uh, and you're looking to have more first mover advantage uh, and look at, you know, other kinds of real estate, which are, are, are also tied to very, very strong fundamentals, then maybe it's time to also explore these other projects that I just talked about. Uh, in these other cities. I hope this video gave you a bit of a tip feel of what's going on out there. I hope it adds some value to you. And of course, uh, you know, if you are interested in potentially investing in Dubai or you want a brokerage firm that you can work with, it gives an impeccable service, uh, I think you should consider getting in touch with us. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Our number's here in the description box. And if you found our video useful, please do subscribe to Seeking Dubai. That lets us know we're doing something useful. All right, thank you very much.